How's it going guys? Fallen Ninja here and today I'm going to show you how to set up slow motion. Assault. So right there as you can see I jumped in slow motion and then I'm gonna do another jump in slow motion right here. See? And then I'm gonna land on this guy kill him has shot in slow motion and then explosion in slow motion so that right there is, is a pretty cool thing you can give your your players to to have fun with and uh, let's go ahead and show you exactly how to get that done all right so I cleared the entire map I left the structures there just because you know these you can they can be whatever you decide uh, them to be whenever you're making your map but uh, I'm gonna keep the same concept so right there I got a grappling hook and the player you know in the map let's say I was making the map they're gonna have to jump from here down there but plot twist there's spikes right there so the player needs to grapple onto this so that he can make his way down and then eventually uh, make his way through this cave hole or window or whatever cool elevator shaft you make or whatever it is that you make and then they need to jump into this room right here to kill a target now you can combine you can do this by itself and it will look cool uh, without slow motion but the problem is you might have an issue with the players going to uh, perhaps miss this right here a few times only because I know for personal playing that the grapple hook is not perfect it's kind of glitchy in some in some ways and then also, uh, when you do the slow motion here, it's mostly just to have the player um, aim his jump a bit more when he's about to land on the AI. But also, it gives him that satisfaction of seeing something cool because he got through the challenge. You know, challenge, reward. That's the way that I see it. Um, and it gives you a pretty good feeling. We're actually going to start off by just doing the first challenge. For that, we need to go over to... Our gameplay scripting script. I'm gonna lay down my two scripts. The first script is I'm gonna put it right here next to the grappling hook, and the second script I'm gonna put it, uh, let's say, uh, right here, where I, I think the player is going to uh, stop being in slow motion. And then uh, I want to go over to these scripts and I want to edit them. So for slow motion, you really don't want to have them activate more than once. And the way you do this is you add an action, you go over to slow motion, press OK, and then you can mess around with the blend duration. That means that it's going to blend from fast motion over to slow motion uh, smoothly. I don't really mind doing them like abruptly, but it's up to you. And you can also set your slow motion amount. I find that 1% doesn't work well for player control. So I'll set this probably to like uh, 25%. And then I'm going to add another action is how much time I want the slow motion to uh, actually on this one. I don't have to do that. Okay. So for this one, all I want is to set the slow motion over to 25%. That's going to be your starting point for your ending point. Go to, go to it, click on add action, set slow motion, press okay. And then for this one, I want the speed to go back up to normal. So 100% see how that kind of works there. Uh, and you can add effects like sound effects while you're doing this too. For now, I won't do that. We might do that in a, in a more advanced tutorial. But for now, let's just focus on the on the uh, slow motion by itself. All right. The next uh, event is going to be the trigger. Uh, you can do various triggers like trigger volume or look at or trigger event. I prefer trigger volume for something uh, like this. And generally, for me, I, I kind of prefer trigger volume for most of my stuff. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to set this to kind of match the size of the player player area. Bring this down a little bit. Uh, I think that'll work. Make it a little bit wider, not too wide. All right, let me go ahead and slide this over. Right there to the middle. Oh, so that's like a five, maybe. That's like a five as well. Okay, that looks about right. And then I'm going to bring this down. So I want him to jump and then 
activate the uh, slow motion after they jump. And that looks about right. I'm going to go ahead and click on trigger script. And it's going to be the first script. So script 36 correlates to the uh, slow motion. Put it right there. That way it's easy to read when I'm going back to edit this map. Or if you're editing with a friend where you guys take turns, they can see what's going on easy, easily. Let's go back down here. And for this, one, I'm just going to go ahead and copy the same volume that I already made. And put it about there. That looks like it's about right. And then I'm going to trigger the second script, which is to go back to the regular speed. One thing that helps is whenever you're making a, uh, a slow motion or any kind of script, after you feel like you're done with the segment of it or part of it, you uh, should definitely test it out. So that right, that right there is your basic starting slow motion um, that you can do. All right, so the next one is I want to make the AI slow motion. Very simply, I'm going to go ahead and place down two AIs. The first one is his officer right there. And then the second one is going to be a zombie just because I like to see them get shot because they're zombies. Uh, Roach female. I'm going to leave it right there. And because of the nature of the script, I don't want them to move. So just because I want to make things very controlled in this scenario, I'm going to go ahead and put two control zones right here. I don't want them to touch each other neither. That's one thing you want to be careful of. If you want these guys to stay alive, you might want to be smart about the way you, you set them up. Oops, I didn't want to clone him. I'm going to go ahead and clone this box. Come on, there we go. And I'm going to just put it right where she's at. Cool, and now go over to the character and give them their respective control zones. Um, there's some cases where the characters might move off of the uh, the, the point just a bit. Um, and a few times where they'll move uh, to kill somebody and then they'll go back. I've seen that a few times. All right, and then for scripting, all you want to do is click on script. Put it next to the zombie character. Click on the script. Add action. And then for this one, we're going to go ahead and set slow motion. Press OK. And then the percentage, I'm going to go ahead and do... I think I'm going to do 1%. That's fine for me. I'm going to add another action and this one is delay press OK. So this essentially is going to do the slow motion start and ending all in one go in one script. I'm going to click on add another action and set slow motion press OK 100%. So if you look at the slow motion actions, I have set slow motion to 1% after 10 seconds, set slow motion to 100%. Now, because of the way the slow motion works, I notice that 10 seconds doesn't really last 10 seconds. But you'll see how that works here in a bit. All right. So from the looks of it, everything is set properly. Let me go ahead and put a script or I'm sorry, a trigger. Let's go over to triggers. Let's put a trigger event. So in this in this scenario, we want the zombie to uh, trigger slow motion after they die on AI death. Pick AI. Boom. Zombie. I'm going to go ahead and link the script, script 44. So typically your the whatever script you put last is going to be the last script that's going to be on the drop down menu to select. Okay, so then the next step is to add the slow motion for whenever we jump down to uh kill the soldier. So in this case, I'm going to grab both the script and the uh trigger from the the other one that I made up here. Don't forget, you guys can actually copy this stuff, too. It saves you a little bit of time. You still have to modify quite a few things, but it saves you a little bit of time when it comes to, to scripting and, and doing triggers. So I'll copy those two. I'm going to go ahead and move the script down to the, uh, to the player right here, to the NPC. And the trigger, you have to adjust it to be the size that you want it to be. On this one, I'm just going to go ahead and put it to, let's see, skinny, but then tall. All right, that works. Bring it down a bit. So when the player enters that, that zone right there, when he jumps over that zone, the slow motion is going to start. I'm going to attach it to the script that's next to the, the guy there. Add action. 
set slow motion okay and on this particular example I want the slow motion to end at a particular point let's go ahead and leave this slow motion at one percent see what that looks like so I'm gonna grab another script and another trigger let's bring this down here I'm gonna put it right above this dude's head so that way before I hit him the slow motion goes away and that's actually a pretty cool you know effect in my opinion especially when sometimes the animations could be a little bit janky when it speeds up you kinda miss those weird uh, transitions that happen I'm gonna go ahead and leave the script up there click on the script add action set slow motion press OK and then I'm gonna go ahead and put this at a hundred percent so that goes back to the regular speed and then on the trigger I'm going to go ahead and attach that to the script up there let's go ahead and get a bomb for this I'm gonna use uh, gameplay explosives and go over to what works let's use this big tank right here and then let's go ahead and go to gameplay scripting and put down a script gameplay scripting put on a uh, trigger event so go ahead and click on uh, add event target or actually remove event target let's pick uh, on object destroyed for the event type let's pick the object the explosive tank and then let's make sure we link that to the proper script go to the script add action set slow motion put that at one percent add action delay press ok and do know that when you set a delay any other script that you have in the map will not play so make sure you don't do it too much where you have a delay or a slow motion delay in another script running at the same time that you want to happen it's not going to work add another action and it's going to be set slow motion and let's bring that back to 100 percent let's go down here and let's do the whole thing all at once all right soldier jump down oh crap you need to repel all right you got it awesome jump down oh dude there's a zombie but there's also a bad guy let's take him down coming for you buddy so you just wait till I get down there I'm gonna punch you or something uh take that come on son bitch mmm slow motion headshot oh no an explosive barrel I gotta reload hold on mmm fuck yeah America okay that's it for the video guys if you enjoyed it please leave a like comment and subscribe and uh, I'll see you the next one Peace.